Hello everyone and welcome back to Lavalia's Coloring. So a couple weeks ago I celebrated my 44th birthday and yeah I'm glad I remembered it because <laughs> I remember my age because once I turned 40 I was just like every year I keep forgetting and I keep thinking that I was like a year older and I would mess up like my cousin who's the same age as I am so but anyways I thought I would share with you guys the coloring related books and supplies that were gifted to me and yeah I'm not sure how long this video will be so I hope yeah like something to drink and something to snack on and most of all I hope you guys have fun and enjoy this video I will try to link everything that's shown down below in the descriptions and in case you don't know i am an amazon affiliate so you know by purchasing from the links i provided you get some change back from them but you know the links are just there for easy access to look at the products but you know you don't have to uh, you're not obligated to use them and yeah just to let you guys know i'm still getting over vertigo so I might be slow in some places, but hopefully, you know, like with editing and everything, um, this video will go smoothly. <laughs> I'm just going to try not to turn around so much and uh, make myself dizzy. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first three books I want to share with you is from the lovely T of T's World of Adult Coloring. That is her channel name. And yeah, she's been so kind so generous and i'm so thankful that i met her in this coloring uh world you know especially on youtube and it's funny because you know the way our friendship started is how i was listening to one of her color and chats and she was talking about the high school she went to and right when she said the name of the high school I went up and <laughs> looked at my yearbook and it happened that we were both in the same class we were both class of 1994 and we both went to high school in California it is just so funny that you know we went to the same school for how many years and we never crossed paths and then you know like in this coloring world it just happened to be a small world and I'm just happy to connect with her and uh, she's been a very, she's been a great best friend um, since I've met her. So I'm just, yeah, so thankful for for her friendship. And so the first book that she, these two books are actually the books that she gave me for my birthday. And so this one is Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween Coloring Book. It is a spine tingling fantasy art adventure. And this book has been on my list on Amazon for the longest time. It's the, this is the only book that I didn't have in my collection. So now my collection for Jasmine Beckett Griffith, her coloring books is complete. And yeah, I'm just so happy that um, I finally get to complete my collection for hers. Uh, I really love her illustrations. I've seen so many different versions of this. So the paper in this book is really nice and they're one-sided so uh, the information that you see on the left side talks about the illustration on the right side. It's a really gorgeous book. So this is Jasmine Beckett Griffith Halloween Coloring Book, a spine-tingling fantasy art adventure. So the other book that she sent me was the Strawberry Shortcake Advanced Coloring Book. I'll go ahead and put this over here. And uh, this is by Benden. And I believe the Benden books, you can also find them at the Dollar General, but uh, I, was I, I was able to find this on Amazon also. So... Um, I'll try to leave the link down below in the descriptions also and when I opened my package and saw that this book was in there oh my gosh I was like uh, I was zooming <laughs> with tea and I 
I had tears in my eyes, but I like just like holding it back so I can see the book and it because you know growing up uh, I was strawberry shortcake for several years my mom didn't want to buy any um, new costumes because I was a short short child <laughs> I was a small child and I could fit into the costume still like from I think from kindergarten or first grade to like fourth grade I think my mom made me stay as um, strawberry shortcake but it was those old 80s uh, what are those things uh, costumes where they're where you have those like plastic robes and then the plastic the hard plastic face mask with the little holes for the mouth and the eyes oh pretty good <laughs> A wallpaper page and I like it because the paper is really nice this is um, the same uh, paper uh, same maker from that Mickey Mouse coloring book that I showed um, in my previous haul so this one brought back a lot of memories as a child I loved the cartoon I grew to love <laughs> being strawberry shortcake for so many years but yeah, I'm so thankful that she found this and thought of me to give it to me for my birthday. So this is Strawberry Shortcake Advanced Coloring Book, and this is by Benden. So the next book is actually this one. This came out recently, I think, in August. So this is Fairy and Fantasy Grayscale Coloring Book. This is the newest one by Christine Karen. And I told T, she, she text, we text each other back and forth about new books coming out, new, different supplies are coming out, or have we seen this sale or that sale, and I knew about this book, but I gave myself the month of August of a nope to not buy any coloring books. And so I was telling T that, but then she was like, yeah, she's trying to tempt me to buy, but I'm like, no, you know, this is, um, this one, I can wait till September, you know, um, but you know, she wanted me to enjoy all of the illustrations that are in here because it is gorgeous. It is stunning illustrations. So yeah, I just, I was surprised. I wasn't sure uh, uh, what it was because she was like, I have a surprise for you. I'm all like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then when I actually received this um, package, I was in bed with um, the first day when I had vertigo and I didn't realize I got a package until she texted me. And um, yeah, my husband, gave it to me opened it and yeah I was shocked I was like dizzy and shocked <laughs> so and here you have all the books that are available by Christine Karen yeah and then in the back you have all the illustrations that are in this book but yeah so so thankful to T she's just so generous and kind and thoughtful so thank you Latimia thank you so much for your gifts and just you know for always thinking of me and for your kindness and your prayers also um, yeah hugs to you <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put this away okay so the next three books were all bought from Target using a gift card that was uh, actually for Mother's Day from my cousin Valerie. Um, when you know we have this whole coronavirus, we're all home, and usually um, when I shop at Target, I just you know go to the store. <laughs> so when I um, added the gift card to my account through the app, I just you know like forgot about it, and it wasn't until I was searching these books that I realized I haven't used my Mother's Day gift card. So the first book I'm going to share with you is 
Practical Color Combination, a resource book with over 2,500 sample color schemes. And it's by Naomi Kuno. This is a really small book. It's about six and a half by six and a half. And it comes with a jacket for the book. Um, I was enabled to get this book by the lovely Imogen, who is, who, whose channel is Coloring Kid. I keep calling her the Coloring Kid. I'm trying not to, but her channel name is Coloring Kid, and that's coloring with the with the U. So yeah, I can't remember which video it was, but she brought this out, and it was like immediate. I had to have this book. It was just. It has all these different color schemes, different uh, themes, and I love the names that they have for it. So this one is Cherry Blossom Festival. All the colors that you find in this photo. It even gives you combinations. So here in this top one is the two color. Then you have three color, four color, and then five color combination. And which is good to have for mandalas or if you have a coloring where you want to stick to a certain swatch yeah so when I saw this on her video I was like immediately on Amazon looking for it and at the time uh, they didn't have it available on Amazon I believe right now they do uh, but yeah at that time they didn't so I was like looking at Barnes & Noble and they actually have it on Target and that's when I realized I still have a gift card credit in there so yeah so this is the first book from Valerie this is the practical color combination by Naomi Kuno so the next book is Muka by Daniel Kiko Kaiko. I apologize if I'm saying it incorrect. And this book was enabled by the beautiful Anne Hatfield. It was her coloring book or coloring hall, art book hall of um, she was finding books, art books to help you know give her inspiration for her art nouveau books and coloring books and so i was all like watching her video and just immediately inspired to look up <laughs> where i can get this book and again i found it on target so i decided to get this one at target i just love the color schemes that he has for each of his paintings. Some of them are the same, some of them are bright, some of them are subtle, and it's it's a great book to give you inspiration of how you're gonna color your your page, especially on Art Nouveau page. I only colored like a couple of them. Um, but this is a wonderful book to be inspired from to give you inspiration it does give you um, descriptions of what the paintings are what they were for it's beautiful this one's called twilight and it's all it also comes in several in several languages so i know here's English and French, I'm guessing, German, maybe Spanish. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, or maybe this is German. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's a great reference book to have on your collection, especially if you have a lot of Art Nouveau books. Okay, so this is Muka by Daniel Ki Kaiko. Kaiko. So I had a few dollars left in the gift card, so I went ahead and picked up 
color quest animals extreme challenges to complete in color and this is by john woodcock and this one was happily enabled by uh danny buttons <laughs> i don't know why i forgot her name for a second there um yeah so the lovely danny buttons that's her channel name and um yeah i just i mean i've seen these books for a long time but it wasn't until i've seen uh, i've watched her coloring color uh or finished colorings on in this book so it's a color by number and you have some that are mosaic some that are hexagon squares triangles but i'll go ahead and show you what the pictures are in this book if you don't want to see it just go ahead and fast forward so here is the pictures that you would find in this book yeah. it's a huge book but I've been having fun with color by numbers, so I thought I would go ahead and get this one. Since I already have Color Quest minus um, the other Color Quest, I can't remember what the name of it is. <laughs> so I added Color Quest Animals. So this is by John Woodcock. So uh, the same cousin, Valerie, she gave me another gift card for my birthday. So I, with that gift card, I picked up the world of debbie mccomber i'm sorry as soon as i can't think but um it's come home to color an adult coloring book and i've had her book in my amazon wish list for like the longest time i think since it came out and i think i had it in my mind that i should at least read one of her books so she uh debbie mccomber Macumber is a novelist, uh, an author, and I believe there's a series of her book or maybe uh, several of her books that are based on the town she lives in. And that town is actually the next one south of me, or not me, south of my town. And but we're all in the same county, so I've always wanted the book, especially because I think it was the first this one where you have. The Seattle, what do you call it, city scene skyline with the Space Needle. So, yeah. It's a really beautiful book, beautiful illustrations in here. Based on, these scenes are based on her books. Oh, this is a very busy scene here. I can see a little puppy. Yorkie? Yarn. I believe she had a yarn store in um, Port Orchard. And these are the illustrators. You have Juan Alarcon, Yvette Gilbert, Mariko Jesse, Olivia Lynn, Ben Perini, Paula Pertile, Sonia Pulido, Monica Rowe and I apologize if I said any of those names wrong so yeah so I picked up the world of Debbie McCumber come home to color an adult coloring book and this is again from Target and then I'm just gonna throw it in here uh, <laughs> I also pre-ordered Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer if you don't know who Stephanie Meyer is she's the author of the Twilight Saga so Midnight Sun is Edward's point of view from the first book um, Twilight from the Twilight Saga and yeah look how thick that is I've already started reading it <laughs> so I had to get this book um, I remembered I didn't want to watch the movie, any of it, uh, read the books, but it was my cousin Jeffrey that made me sit down and watch the movie. And then from then on, I was addicted to, well, to the books. Because after I watched the movie, I went straight and started reading all of the books, all the books that were available at that time. And then, yeah, Team Edward. 
<laughs> Sorry if you're Team Jacob. But anyways, yeah, so I also got Midnight Sun. And then I also pre-ordered Taylor Swift's new CD, Folklore. I just, I have the digital version, but I had to have the physical copy to CD just for myself. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, Valerie, for your gift cards for Mother's Day and my birthday. So we'll go ahead and move on. So my other cousin, Sharon, she dropped off like a lovely gift bag filled with candies, a face mask pack. And then she also gave me this Hello Kitty nesting dolls set. I have to hide this because my youngest son, Mason, keeps trying to open it. So yeah, this is so cute. And then she also gave me some coloring stuff. She gave me this colorful blessing, colorful messages to bless a heart soothe the soul and calm the mind so it has 44 delightfully detailed cards to color and share god's love peace and joy so it's really small this is what let me see how big the card is about about four inches by three inches let me just go ahead and cut this open i hope i can get it back in the box but Maybe I'll just go like this. So here's this card that says, oh, it's a thick card too. That's good. So it's, um, you are God's masterpiece. And then you have this one, you are precious to God. Ooh, pretty pictures. Just go ahead and take this all out. And yeah, really thick. With God, all things are possible. Oh, that is so cute. So, uh, <laughs> along with this um, coloring cards, she also got me a set of pens to use to color in, to color these cards in. So she got me this Pilot Frixion Fine Liner Erasable Marker Pens. And it comes with 12 colors plus a pen. The pen is the same color as uh, its barrel. It's blue. Uh, let me go ahead and share with you what the colors are. Because I already swatched it. So here is the colors that you'll find in this set. And they really do erase. I tried. <laughs> So, really nice colors. I don't know if I'll use it to color in there though. I might take out my um, real brush pens and try that. Or my Tombows. But yeah, these are nice pens to have. I love the barrels. Let me go ahead and pull some of them out. So here's how the barrel looks like. Frixion fine liner, erasable. There's the eraser. That's the fine liner. What's that? Really cute um, pens. So yeah, you get 12 colors. I don't know if I'll keep them in this uh, package I'll probably put it somewhere else I'm not sure yet so I'm leaving it in here in the meantime so yeah so these are from my cousin Sharon so thank you so much Sharon so the rest of the my stuff are for like from my kids and my siblings and um, I throw it this way and they went off a wish list they requested that I put together for them so the first one I am going to share with you is from my oldest daughter, Michelle. She got me the Art of Anne Stokes, Mystical, Gothic, and Fantasy. So this is by Anne Stokes and John Woodward. And yeah, I love art books. It's great to look for inspiration, especially you know, like with backgrounds. How are you going to color the main subject like and also shadows and stuff 
like for me I don't I always do yellow moons <laughs> so you know like just seeing that this is um, like a pink reddish moon sorry for the glare let me go see if I can move that there Yeah, ideas on how to color wings, especially fairy wings, dragons. Yeah, so my on my wish list, I did add a lot of uh, books I can use as references for coloring. Gorgeous art again this is by Anne Stokes and John Woodward this is the yeah John Woodward and this is the art of Anne Stokes mystical gothic and fantasy and so the other book that she gave me is the magical history of mermaids and this is by Russ Thorne forward by Tara Lynn Childs or I guess this uh, coloring is by Tara Lynn Ch Childs. But I have the magical history of unicorns, and I've always wanted the mermaids one, so so happy to get this one. And in this book, you'll find paintings and um, yeah, paintings from several artists, like Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Probably Ann Stokes might be in here too if she did this. Yeah, again, um, I love to use these books for inspiration just for my coloring. Color schemes, backgrounds, tales, <laughs> color coloring tales. this is oh god I cannot remember her name I just made myself dizzy you know who I'm talking about <laughs> you know, this is, I can't find her name in here but I have a lot of her books too so I just her name's not coming to me but yeah gorgeous book I've already looked through it um, I'll probably keep looking through it every now and then Yeah, so this is, you see the back, beautiful. Yeah, so this is The Magical History of Mermaids by Russ Thorne, and this uh, cover is by Tara Lynn Childs. And again, it's from my daughter, my oldest daughter, Michelle. So my youngest daughter, Malia, she got me Strangeling, The Art of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, which goes well with T's <laughs> uh, present to me. And yeah, just, you know, I don't have any of her, any uh, art reference book for Jasmine Beckett Griffith. So, so happy to get it. And again, you know, um, it's great to use as reference for her coloring books or just for any other illustrations doesn't have to be her coloring books it's kind of sad that it cuts in the middle but you know it's a whole double page spread love the tail yeah I can get lost easily just looking at the pictures i will eventually read it but <laughs> i probably would read like um the descriptions for each of the paintings that are shown in here so that's what's in the back part of this book gives you the name and a little information about each of the paintings and then, of course, about Jasmine. 
And it's a hardcover book too, so really, really lovely book. And yeah, thank you so much, Malia. And the next one is from my oldest son, Matthew. He got me Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and this is number seven, eight, and nine. So here are the, I swatched them already. And actually the case, um, I bought a three set of these cases and two of them were already being used. I think I showed this at a previous haul. I think it was a couple, uh, earlier in the month. And yeah, so these are the inks, number seven, number eight, and number nine. And I'm slowly um, getting all of the colors. It's a lot of fun playing with uh, Distress Ink, but still, you know, like I'm still learning like the pressure of the brushes and stuff. I can be kind of hard <laughs> and sometimes too soft. So yeah great to add this and <laughs> his older siblings um michelle and malia helped matthew um get this on amazon for him so yeah thank you matthew okay so the next two books are from my little sister and my brother-in-law melanie and trent so the first book is the one with all the coloring an unofficial coloring book for fans of Friends illustrated by Valentin Ramon and this is a small book this is a uh, eight and a half by eight and a half and really really thin can you see the title let me see no it's, it's, it's so thin you can't even see the title so, <laughs> and, and but it's okay because you know um, I really like the illustration it's like scenes from their TV show from TV show Friends so you have Central Perk um, stage in Central Perk where Phoebe was seeing the neighborhood and where they live Monica's living room right, uh, Joey and Chandler's bathroom Joey and Chandler's um, kitchen I think this is when they got their furniture stolen, right? Sorry, I have my hair there. And then their little pets. I forgot what their names are. And yeah, I don't remember what the episode was for this one, but I know it's where Ross tells Rachel that they were on a break. Right? Am I right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it is. And yeah. And then uh, Phoebe's grandmother's taxi, the boat that Rachel teaches Joey to drive. Yeah, and then of course the chicken, you gotta have the chicken that Monica sticks on her head and dances to Chandler. Yeah, but it's a, it's a small book or skinny book. It's not Create Space, it's by Ulysses Press. But at least it's one-sided. Yeah. So again, this is the one with all the coloring, an unofficial coloring book for fans of Friends, illustrated by Valentin Ramon. And then the other book that my sister and Trent uh, they gave me the colorist special effects, and this is by Helen Elliston. This is actually book. One, I have both book two and book three, and for some reason, I skipped book one. I think I always told myself that it's on, it's on my list. I will get it later, and it keeps getting later and later and later, and so I just never got it, so that's why I added it on my list. So these are just great books to have to look to look at just in case, you know, I like, uh, just need to remember, how do I do this? Like a raindrops or water drops or something flowers like I wouldn't have thought about adding frost or anything like that but that's cool you should try that I have my own way of doing bows but you know can it's kind of the same <laughs> but yeah I'd probably try the crystals 
because I'm still kind of iffy with those. Still learning. I'm still um, just learning through each page, different stuff. I've seen a lot of people do the balloons, so I want to try the balloons too. Wine glass. Yeah. So this is just a really great book to have in your uh, coloring book collection. It's a great technique book. It has a color chart here. More color charts. Practice blending. Oh, I want to try this one. The fireworks. I think uh, when I did the fireworks, it was just kind of like, just, I don't know. I tried to create my own. Kind of looks okay, but I like this one better. <laughs> so yeah. So this is the Colorist Special Effects by Helen Elliston. And yeah, thank you, Melanie and Trent for these books. The next book is another text technique book, tutorial book. Uh, this is The Secrets of Coloring by Jennifer Zimmerman. This book is gifted to me by my little brother, uh, Danilo, and his lovely wife, Honey. Or T. Honey is her whole name. I like to call her Honey. And um, yeah, and again, like the other book, I have book two. I just totally skipped book one and I kept telling myself I will go back and get it. <laughs> so I'm glad I added it to my wish list so I can finally have it in my collection. And it's a great read to learn tips and techniques. How to make clouds, doing faces, especially with pan pastel. I probably should read up on this. And this one, I think they use. Oh yeah, they use. Yeah, pan pastel and then pencils. I know you guys probably have this one already. I'm just like really, really, really late to the game. <laughs> so yeah, so. Really happy to add this to my coloring techniques collection of books. So this is The Secrets of Coloring by Jennifer Zimmerman. And then my brother and honey also gifted me my first set of Copic Chows. And I wanted the skin tones to try out. Um, so these are actually my really <laughs> My first first Copics and I love these pens just because they're just so I know when I first touched it I was like oh it just feels soft I don't know small like soft and smooth so with the Copic Chow sorry right there um, you have the what is that called chisel nib and then on the other end you have the brush tip. I haven't played with these yet. I'm kind of like, uh, it's on my list of things to do. So <laughs> it's kind of there. So it comes with six colors. Let me see if I can. So it comes with pale fruit pink. Oh, sorry. It's like, doesn't want to it's not going to uh, focus so I have pale fruit pink E triple O or zero cotton pearl E double O and then E11 which is barley beige or barely no barley beige and then you have E15 which is dark suntan and E18 which is copper and then you also have T-Rose which is number E93 
It's a great selection of Copics. My um, my brother and my sister-in-law also gave me like a whole bag, a big bag of um, Japanese rice crackers too. It's my my youngest son Mason and my favorite snack to munch on. <laughs> so, and yeah, so like I told you guys, these are my first Copic chows. And then when I open my mother-in-law's gift, I'll be right back and bring it out. So with the help of my husband, uh, my mother-in-law surprised, surprised me with this Copic Chow 72 A colors. So, you know, when I opened my brother's gift, I thought, you know, like, oh, this is my first, first set of Copic Chow. And then I opened my mother-in-law's gift and I happened to get the A set of um the copic chow 72a and oh yeah <laughs> i think i um i remember why my husband decided to help his mom get this for me is because it started off with my son because my daughter's birthday was in may and um in our family the next birthday was mine in july so it was back in may that my son matthew told my husband that he should get me the copic chows for my birthday and at the time i was just being sarcastic it's like yeah you know you should get me the whole set and i was like you have to get me the 72a the 72b and then i think it's 36e to make it a complete set because there's like 180 just for the copic chow and i didn't realize my husband is actually <laughs> like taking notes in his head and so uh, when he was helping his mom get a present for me she got this for me which i'm so thankful i'm so i haven't swatched it yet um yeah so <laughs> i just i'm just looking at it from the case it's just so pretty and just holding the barrels is just like oh <laughs> you know so um yeah so she got this for me and then um my parents they sent me money for my birthday because you know they sent it out in a, um, in a birthday card earlier so they weren't able to see my wish list but you know uh, my husband was all like you know what why don't you just go ahead and use that money to get the second set of the Copic Chow so I was all like okay <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that and I haven't opened it it's still in its plastic too and I'm just telling you, I, yeah, so this is from my parents, the Copic Chow 72B. Um, yeah, so I use the money that they give me to finish, well, not finish the set, um, to get the next set uh, for the Copic Chow. And then my husband was, uh, was like, well, you have to complete the, the rest of it. So he went and got me the 36 E, which makes it the complete um, 180 colors of sorry just like glare colors of Copic Chow and uh, just, um, I think I've said it before a couple videos before that uh, I'm I don't think I'm ready for Copic Chows but that's why I was like when I did my list, I was like, I'm going to just add this one um, that my brother picked up for me just to try it out. And maybe I can slowly build it up together or slowly build it up um, to make it a collection. But yeah, I'm just so thankful to my parents and to my mother-in-law and to my husband for uh, gifting me these Copic Chow. I'm just like, so scared to use them but i really want to learn how to use it but um so again i haven't swatched these yet but i did print out the swatch chart that i will be using to swatch it and go ahead and share it with you so i got this one to swatch it and this is where i got it from where it's created by and I know there's a bigger one with all of the colors from Copic. I think it was like 300 something colors, but I wanted to just see the Copic Chow and that's it. I don't want to be tempted to get in every color. I want to 
learn how to use the Copic Challenge and stick with this for for a long while. <laughs> so, yeah, again, yeah, just, yeah, just, they blew my mind when they got me these presents. Well, my mother-in-law, my husband, and my parents don't, yeah, they know now <laughs> that they got me the Copic Chow. So, my husband also got me another present, but I haven't opened it yet. It's sitting on my other desk waiting for me to open, but I wanted to do that in a video, in an unboxing video for you guys. Uh, so um, please look out for that one. And I will also have a separate video of coloring books and supplies I hauled for both July and August. And you know, I didn't want to do them all on this video because I, I'm standing up as I record, so I don't, I'm, I don't want to be standing up too long. I didn't want this video to be too, too long. <laughs> and um, I thought it'd just be best to do a separate one. And August for me is a no buy month. And I think I said this earlier for like coloring books and supplies, but you know, I didn't include subscriptions or pre-orders. So those are gonna be on uh, the haul video and hopefully i'll have that up in the next few days and then after that i do want to work on the skin tone videos and then the unboxing i i just have so much planned uh, i just want to try to keep uh try to get that out but then you know i have to get my body <laughs> to or my head to find balance and yeah so i want to thank Miss Latimia and my wonderful family for all of their love, their support, and their wonderful birthday gifts. And I want to thank you guys for your continued support for my channel, for watching, for your comments, and for your likes. Uh, just know that I really, really appreciate it. So, yeah, I'm sending you guys lots of big hugs and many, many thanks. So please take care, keep safe and healthy, and I'll see you all at my next video. Happy colorings. Bye-bye.